Hi there Stampin' Friends. Here's our second make and take project for April 2017 and our technique for this month was watercoloring. The stamp sets we used were Easter Message. We'll be using the cross, the Happy Easter, and the scripture, He is not here, He is risen, Matthew 28, 6. And then this little swish that we're going to use for a grassy hill. The ink colors that we used were Basic Black, Archival, Rich Razzleberry, Daffodil Delight, Old Olive. We'll also use the watercolor pencils in Early Espresso, Daffodil Delight, and Rich Razzleberry. The cardstock you're going to need for this project is a card base of Daffodil Delight, a piece of Rich Razzleberry cut at 3 and 3 eighths, by five, four, sorry, four and five eighths. So it's three and three eighths by four and five eighths. A scrap of the rich razzleberry so you can cut out the scallop circle. Another scrap so you can cut out this frame. And then a piece of the shimmery white cardstock cut at two and seven eighths by four inches. And then you'll need another scrap of daffodil for your sentiment. So let's get started here. I'm going to go ahead and start just by stamping the scripture and rich razzleberry onto this daffodil delight cardstock. Use the the layering layering oval framelits, and you cut that out with your big shot. You get a piece that looks like this, and then this will just glue onto the scallop oval that we cut out with that same set, the layering ovals, and I'm just going to adhere that with some Tombow glue here. Stuck. There we go. Oh, now we got a lot of glue. Much more than I need. So I'm going to wipe that off on a scrap because I really don't want that much glue on there. And I'm just going to center this in that oval. And on the back, I'm going to go ahead and put three dimensionals on it so that's ready to go. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is stamp the cross in the black archival. You need either this black archival or stays on with the clear mount stamp. And we're going to watercolor, so we want to we want an ink that will um, not blur when we go ahead and, and watercolor. I'm going to hold this for a couple seconds and just let that soak into that good. Okay. Now, the rich razzleberry I started, and if you can see that the artist has made these darker places um, in the stamped image, these little lines for the darker shading. So I'm just going to take this rich razzleberry pencil and put some color down where those shading markings are. I want that fairly dark there. Here's some more up here and a little here. Okay, then I'm just going to use my pencil and add some lighter shading. Just some, put down some paper, or some, I'm sorry, some color here on the, the rest of the image. Just like that. 
This really is very, very simple um, water coloring techniques. And then I'm going to take the blender pen and just blend these color, this color in. Working in little circular motions. I had not used the blender pens with these marker or these pencils. I'm kind of a I really enjoy the watercoloring with the aqua painters, but when I tried this, this is just beautiful. This it just blends so pretty. So I'd really encourage you to give this a try. Don't be afraid to practice. This takes watercoloring takes practice and just relax and enjoy it. If you try something and you don't like it, try it a different way. Okay, then to clean your brush, you just do that on the paper. Then you can come back in and if your ink is too dark, if you want it lighter, you can pick a little of that up. You can also, once you have it done and spread out, you can come back in and add some more darker shading. It's a little bit wet, so it really should probably dry before you come back in and try and add more. But you get the idea here. You can just keep going until you get it the, de the depth of tone you want it. Okay, then I'm going to switch to the Earl Espresso. Here I'm going to, and I'm also, I'm sorry, I'm going to put some Daffodil Delight here on the binding. And then I'm going to use the Earl Espresso marker. And I'm, I want it to be a little bit darker on the left side of the cross. So I'm just going to add a little bit darker here on the left side. And then I'll blend it out. Okay. Oops. Then I'm going to come back in with the uh, blender pen that I've cleaned off on my scrap paper. And blend this pencil out. I had just a hair, a little bit of that Earl Express on my blender pen still, so it kind of um, toned down that yellow. I'm going to see if this is dry enough yet to come back in and add some more pencil. And then I'm just going to blend that in again. Okay, you can even keep going and add more to that. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my aqua painter, a block, because I don't put water on in my pen, my aqua painter. I put it on my block so I have control of how much water I get. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper. Sorry, I wiped glue all over that and I don't want that all over my project. Okay, so now I'm just going to bring this in with the the yellow, the Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to use this out of my lid. I put some reinker in here, and I'm going to use my Aqua Painter. And that one still has 
green on it from my last project. I didn't get it clean. So always test that first to make sure that you don't have leftover ink in your in your brushes before you start this project. Same with your um when you use your blender pen. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up ink there. I'm sorry, water, and then I'm going to pick up some ink, and then I'm just going to come in here, and I'm going to quickly add yellow to this, um, the background around this cross, kind of, I just think it really adds a pretty touch. I did another project where I added blue to the back, and that also makes this really pop and gives it some shading, so whatever your preference is. You don't want to get too close to your um, cross because you can drag that that colored pencil out and then it would be a color you did not want. And this is not, again on the shimmery white cardstock. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more here. Oh, I have any color on it. up a little piece of fuzz there. Okay, so I'm going to call that good. Then I'm going to use the old olive ink and the, the stamp out of the sheltering tree. And I'm just going to stamp this at the bottom. And you can tilt your stamp if you want to add and stamp again to add depth. All right. As this is drying just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and fold my card base and get that prepared. Some daffodil delight. Okay. I'm also going to go ahead and put this on my rich raspberry that's been run through the big shot with the, it is called the Petal Burst Embossing Folder. Okay, now I'm going to apply this in the center here. Ideally this would be a little bit drier than what I'm working with right here, but for the video this is the way it's going to be. Okay. You can take your bone folder and lightly go over the edges to pull that glue in, kind of like you're frosting a cake. Just drag it across there so that it, you get a good seal on there because that watercolor paper is wet and it will come up a little if you don't do that. Okay, the other thing we need to do now is just take this frame that I've trimmed out of the rich raspberry. I'm going to add just a little bit of Tombow liquid glue. Little tiny dots. Okay. And I'm going to frame the cross. Then I took my silicone embossing mat and just pushed over that to make that stick down. Okay, then this goes in the middle of the card front. See, it doesn't look like I blended this at all. I'm going to come in and 
some of the ink that I picked up and just add it down here. Okay. Then the last thing to do here is stamp the Happy Easter on the inside and Rich Razzleberry. Okay, make sure you have your stamp going the right way. Okay, and the last thing, I was wrong, the last thing is to put your scallop on there with the scripture on it. And I'm just going to put this down here in the lower right hand corner. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.